skeletons is Disney Queen Skelly here. So we are addressing part two of the Splash Mountain change. Um, the, the video I posted, part one, actually got a lot of responses, um, well not responses, but views. And in, in my terms, a lot means like over four. <laughs> it got nine views, which I greatly appreciated. Um, none of you really shared your comments, which is okay. I mean, sometimes people don't have something to say or they rather just watch and kind of just figure it out on their own. But today we'll be, we will be looking at part two, which will be a little bit longer. We will be discussing Princess and the Frog, and then I'll be reading to you guys an article about the change itself. So this video will be a little lengthier. Um, if you guys don't want to watch this, you obviously don't have to. And again, like I said in the previous video, I bear no ill will towards Disney for the change and for all of this going on. Because again, like Disney, we're growing up too. And Disney grows up with us. So, um, you guys already know, like I said, it's, it's sad to see, I'm sad to see this ride go, but I'm also excited to give the new ride a chance. So, we're going to be looking at Princess and the Frog, uh, the movie, so there will be spoilers ahead, and then I will be reading you the article about the change from the, um, Disney, uh, news site that is, um, known to the public. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so first we're going to start with Princess and the Frog, I'm going to be giving you guys some plot summaries. And then we're going to be heading into the synopsis of the movie. So here are the plot summaries. A waitress desperate to fulfill her dreams as a restaurant owner is set on a journey to turn a frog prince back into a human being, but she has to face the same problem after she kisses him. A modern day retelling of the classic story The Frog Prince. The princess and the frog finds the lives of arrogant, carefree Prince Naveen and hardworking waitress Tiana crossing paths. Prince Naveen is transformed into a frog by a conniving voodoo magician and Tiana following suit, kissing the amphibian royalty. With the help of a trumpet-playing alligator, a Cajun firefly, and an old blind lady who lives in a boat in the tree, Naveen and Tiana must race to break the spell and fulfill their dreams. And here is the synopsis of the movie. In New Orleans, a young girl named Tiana and her mother are visiting the LaBeouf family where Tiana's mother, Eudora, is crafting a dress for the family's daughter, Charlotte. Charlotte is a lover of fairy tales, and Eudora reads the two the story of the frog prince. While Charlotte is enamored with kissing a frog that becomes a prince, Tiana finds the thought disgusting. Upon returning home, Tiana helps her father, James, prepare gumbo. As the meal is finished, her father tells of his dream to one day open his own restaurant. When Tiana eagerly chimes in that she wants to help, her father claims that claims they'll call it Tiana's place. Upon seeing the evening star outside her window, Tiana makes a wish to, to which her father explains that wishing can only go so far, and that she has to help that wish along. As time passes, Tiana holds on to the dream even after her father has passed away. Working two different jobs, Tiana spends almost all her time working and saving for a place with, a little, time, with little time for friends or fun. One morning, she runs into Charlotte and her father, Big Daddy LaBeouf, who has been named King of the Mardi Gras for the fifth year in a row. Charlotte is incredibly excited that a visiting prince named Naveen is in New Orleans. As Naveen is single, Charlotte hopes to fulfill her wish to, of marrying a prince and, li and living happily ever after and has invited him to attend a social functioning at the family mansion. Knowing of Tiana's cooking skills, Charlotte pays her friend a large sum of money to cater the event. Tiana is pleased as the money is just enough to allow her to purchase the place to start her restaurant. Tiana contacts the building's owners and shows the place to her mother. While Eudora is pleased, she is worried that Tiana seems to have no time for herself with her one-mindedness regarding the restaurant. Meanwhile, Prince Naveen is entertaining a crowd playing the ukulele with a band and dancing. His assistant, Lawrence, angrily comes up to him, complaining that the two would be late for the LaBeouf's masquerade. Naveen brushes the issue off and offers to buy everyone in the crowd a drink, but Lawrence reveals that the prince is broke. His only options of fixing his financial state are, the, are to marry a wealthy young lady or get a job. Reluctantly, Naveen agrees, but a spectacle soon ensues, resulting in the two landing dizzily on the footpath. A tall man, introducing himself as Dr. Facilier, greets them and hands Naveen a business card reading tarot readings, charms, potions, dreams made real, before pretending to read the prince's palm and recognizing him as royal. Naveen eagerly informs Lawrence of Facilier's feat, but the assistant grabs a newspaper with the prince's face printed on it from the witch doctor's back pocket and calls him a charlatan. Facilier has a brief flash of anger before he regains his composure and invites the others into his shop. 
Naveen and Lawrence each take three of his tarot cards. Facilier looks at Naveen's cards and deduces that he is from across the sea and despite being royalty has little money due to his parents cutting him off his funds. He says the prince needs to marry a rich young woman but this would conflict with his urges to be free. Lastly, the shadow man states that although freedom takes money, he sees the prince being wealthy in his future. He then moves on to Lawrence and after inspecting the assistant's cards, concludes that although he has been pushed, ground, pushed around by others all his life, he will be the man he always wanted to be, namely Lawrence being wealthy, powerful, and a boss of Naveen. Facilier offers both men his hand, and while Naveen uncertainly shakes it, Lawrence does so with fervor. fervor. Quickly, the witch doctor gets down to work, pricking the prince's finger and filling up a small head-shaped talisman with his blood. Transform transformations begin to change both Naveen and Lawrence, but the scene darkens before anything noticeable occurs. At the LaBeouf mansion, Tiana shows up to cater the event and soon Prince Naveen arrives. Charlotte eagerly goes to him for a dance. As Tiana watches her friend, she discovers the realtors of the property have also attended the function as they approach her and the food. Tiana eagerly tells of her wish to sign the papers to the building as soon as possible, but the two men explain that someone else has offered a larger sum and are planning to deny her the property unless she can come up with more money. Upset and heartbroken, Tiana accidentally makes a mess of her outfit. Charlotte, seeing her friend in a need, allows her to change out of the outfit into a blue gown with a tiara. While in Charlotte's room, she sees the star shining in the sky and wishes for help regarding her restaurant. As she looks down, she finds a frog sitting near her and sarcastically asks if it wants a kiss. To her surprise, the frog replies, and Tiana screams and races back inside. After unsuccessfully dodging the stuffed animals thrown at him and being smacked with a book, the frog is finally able to tell Tiana that he is Prince Naveen of Maldonia. She then asks him that if he is Prince Naveen, who is the person dancing with Charlotte downstairs, to which he replies that he has no idea. Suddenly, he spots the name of the book Tiana is holding, the prince, the frog prince. He, he under the impression that Tiana is a princess, tells her that, like what happens in the book, if she kisses him, he will turn back into a prince. She abruptly refuses, but when Naveen mentions that his wealthy family might be able to reward her in some way, Tiana thinks about her restaurant and determinedly plants a kiss on the frog. To the horror of both parties, not only is Naveen still a frog, but Tiana has changed into one too. Shocked and angry, she launches herself at the prince and tackles him until they both go flying at the window onto a drum set before falling into the neck of Charlotte's dress. Big Daddy LaBeouf yells for Stella the dog to catch the frogs, who run across the dinner table before escaping via a bunch of balloons. As the masquerade comes to an abrupt end, the Prince Naveen imposter hurries into a nearby cottage and opens up a cabinet to find an empty jar. Dr. Facilier appears from behind him and accuses him of letting the real Prince Frog go. The imposter is revealed to be Lawrence, who can only keep the prince's form if he is wearing the blood-filled talisman around his neck. Lawrence, having second thoughts about the deceit, throws the talisman to Facilier, telling him to wear it instead. The shadow man angrily shouts for him to be careful with the object and then replies that even if he wanted to be the fake prince, the voodoo magic wouldn't work on him. They also discuss their plan. Lawrence is going to marry Charlotte and Facilier would dispose of Big Daddy and their fortune would be shared. Still clutching onto the balloon strings, Tiana discovers that the reason why Naveen is changed into a frog was because he was messing with voodoo and stubbornly states that the only way to get things in life is through hard work. Taken aback, Naveen questions why a princess would ever have to work hard and tiana replies that she's a waitress not a princess outraged the prince exclaims that 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 was why he the kiss didn't work and the two engage in a heated argument before the balloon suddenly pop and they are sent falling into a lake they narrowly escape a large fish and then an aggressive crane followed by a group of hungry alligators from which they hide in an old tree and spend the night in the morning, Tiana makes a small raft so that the two can make their way back to New Orleans and become human again. To her annoyance, Naveen doesn't help with the paddling and instead sits and plays a twig guitar. Tiana turns around to give him a piece of her mind but sees a large alligator that looks as if it's about to eat up Naveen. To both of the frogs' surprise, however, the alligator pulls out a trumpet and launches into a jam session with the prince and introduces himself as Louie. Naveen explains that he and Tiana are both humans turned into frogs by voodoo magic, to which Louis replies that a woman named Mama Odi is the voodoo queen of the bayou and she can perform similar feats. As the journey to her lair is so dangerous, however, he flat, flatly refuses when the two ask if he can take them there.
Disappointed, Tiana is about to return to her paddling when Naveen hops off the raft and suavely persuades Louis to guide them to Mama Odie's. He says that the witch could probably turn the toothy alligator into a human as well so that he could fulfill his dream of playing with the jazz musicians of the city. This is too much for Louis, who swiftly agrees to take them there. Back at the Labouffe, Charlotte and Lawrence, posing as Prince Naveen, have tea together. Suddenly, one of Lawrence's ears appears to swell up, although it has really just returned to its normal size. Worriedly, he checks the talisman and sees that half of the blood has been used up. He nervously blames his ear on mosquitoes, but just as quickly, his backside enlarges. Lawrence manipulates and maneuvers Charlotte so she can't see his transformation back into his plump self, just as his chin and stomach swell up. To distract her, he hurriedly proposes to her, and Charlotte accepts before happily waltzing away. Dr. Facilier appears from nowhere and watches as all the blood is drained and Lawrence turns entirely to his former body. As the assistant had let Naveen free so that his blood was currently unavailable, the Shadow Man is forced to ask for help from uh, his friends on the other side. Meanwhile in the bayou, Tiana tells Louie about her big plans for the restaurant. Quickly, the trio realizes their hunger, and the frogs try to fruitlessly to catch flies for food. But their inexperience fails their attempt as Naveen and Tiana's tongues get tied in a knot. Louis tries to help, but just makes the knot incredibly more complicated, before hurrying off to get a sharp stick. A firefly zooms down to observe the struggling couple and chuckles at their discomfort. Soon enough, however, he undoes the knot and introduces himself as Ray. The two explain their predicament to him, but the Firefly says that they're heading to the wrong way if they want to meet Mama Odie. Right on cue, Louis runs in, waving a sharp stick in the air, but Ray whispers to Tiana to never take directions from an alligator as they'll always get you lost. He then whistles and immediately thousands of Fireflies light up to show the group the way. Dr. Facilier, back in his shop, is asking large totem heads on the wall for assistance in retrieving Naveen, but they frown menacingly at his plea. As if expecting their negative answer, however, Facilier assures them that as soon as he kills Big Daddy LaBeouf, the friends can have all the souls in New Orleans for themselves. To this, the heads agree, and a multitude of shadows enter the room. Facilier orders them to find Naveen and bring him back alive, for now. Back at the bayou, Ray is farewelling his relatives as he prepares to go with Tiana, Naveen, and Louis the rest of the way. He reveals to Tiana that he is in love with Evangeline, but Naveen advises the firefly to not settle down so quickly. Louis is pricked by a bush and melodramatically wails in pain until Ray calms him down to pull out the thistles. As the group is preoccupied, a trio of hunters lies in wait, planning to catch and eat Tiana and Naveen. Unaware of the danger they're in, the two frogs walk away from the others, Tiana in front, chopping away at leaves in her path and Naveen behind. After being told by Naveen that she doesn't know how to have fun, Tiana angrily retorts that he is a lazy good-for-nothing. While they exchange heated words, Naveen is captured in a net by Reggie and Tiana by two fingers. She escapes just as Louis and Ray spot Reggie in a boat with guns, gloating over the prince. In his terror, Louis accidentally falls back in the thorn bushes, but the firefly flies up the old hunter's nose to distract him and set Naveen free. Running away from Darnell, Tiana inadvertently hands her, lands herself in a trap box and is promptly sat upon by Reggie to prevent her escape. The prince bobs out of the water gleefully with his freedom but sees Tiana trapped and follows the boat. He sits on Reggie's head, causing Darnell to dimwittingly whack his father to try and hit the agile frog. Soon chaos ensues and Tiana is able to get out of her cage. Naveen and Tiana return to Louis and Ray after their ordeal while the firefly impatiently yanks the thistles out of the pained alligator. To make him feel better, Tiana makes swamp gumbo, but insists Naveen help by mincing the mushrooms while she gathers peppers. She returns to find him struggling with the task, and smiling helps him. The prince admits that since his charmed life in the castle, he doesn't know how to do anything. One of the shadows under Facilier's orders, meanwhile, finds flowers as evidence of the frogs and lets out a piercing call. Soon the other shadows follow him and they make their way towards the prince. After eating the swamp gumbo, Naveen compliments Tiana's cooking, saying she has a gift to which she thanks him. Ray changes the subject, though, pointing to the sky and telling the others that the evening star is Evangeline. 
He sings about his love for her, but when Louis moves to interrupt and tell him that his love is actually a star, Naveen throws a nutshell at him and gestures for him to be quiet. The prince asks Tiana to dance with him, but she dejectedly helps, hops to another lily pad and sadly tells him that she doesn't dance. Naveen tugs her back near him, however, and quietly tells her that if he can mince, she can dance. They begin dancing on a lily pad to Louis' trumpet while Ray creates mood lighting. The pair are about to kiss until Tiana pushes him away and remar remarks that Charlotte was getting herself a superb dance partner. Suddenly, the shadows grab and drag Naveen away, but although the others run after him, it doesn't look like they're fast enough. Bursts of light from nowhere hit the shadows and destroy them, rendering Naveen free. As the group looks for their savior, they meet Mama Odie. She brings them back to her tree and introduces them to her pet python, Juju, who she uses as a walking stick. Tiana and Naveen try to get her attention to turn them back into humans, but she interrupts each of their attempts by offering them candy, falling asleep and going to their gumbo pot. Eventually, she answers their questions by trying to teach them the difference of wants and needs. Tiana doesn't understand, however, so wearily Mama Odie shows them the, through the gumbo pot how to turn human again. Naveen will have to kiss Charlotte before midnight while she's princess of the Mardi Gras parade. The group decide to make their way to New Orleans by following Louis' suggestion, and they sneakily climb aboard their, the riverboat. A group of musicians soon make their way past, however, and while Naveen, Ray, and Tiana can hide, Louis is too big and is noticed by them. Luckily for both parties, however, the alligator is thought to be a human inside an alligator costume and excitedly plays a trumpet and follows them. Ray and Tiana go to watch Louis play with the big boys, but Naveen mysteriously decides to stay back and says he'll catch up with the others later. He then fashions a ring out of rope and a beaded bracelet before asking Evangeline why he can't just tell Tiana he loves her. Ray flies in at the wrong moment and, thinking Naveen is making a move on Evangeline, begins to pummel him. Naveen quickly sets the record straight, but tells Ray not to tell Tiana about his love for her. Soon after, the prince leads Tiana to a private dinner where she is taken aback but delighted. He treats her to a minced dinner, but due to nerves, begins making mistakes, telling Tiana he has dated thousands of women, and then calling her one of the guys before tripping and upturning the food. She takes it in her stride, though, and giggling and saying she thinks it's cute. Naveen is about to propose to her, but Tiana interrupts, pointing out, out her future restaurant and gushing about her plans for it when she mentions however that she needs the money by the next day or she'll lose the restaurant forever the prince realizes he cannot marry her and disappointingly heads off while tiana talks to evangeline telling her about her uncertainty for the future naveen is being dragged off once again by the shadows charlotte is seen knocking on a door calling for prince naveen to hurry up for the mardi gras wedding while lawrence wordly procrastinates saying he'll be ready shortly but itching for Naveen's blood so he can take his form again. The shadows suddenly appear and toss the frog into Facilier's hat, where they take more of his blood and drip it into the talisman. Back on the riverboat, which has docked, everyone's getting off to play at the Mardi Gras, but Tiana asks Ray where Naveen is. Ray lets slip that Naveen loves her and that he plans to marry her after kissing Charlotte and getting them both turned back to humans. Giddy with joy, Tiana hops around the Mardi Gras looking for the float where Naveen would be kissing Charlotte, but instead sees the prince imposter about to marry her. Mistaking Lawrence for the actual prince, Tiana is devastated and tunes out Ray as he wonders how it can be true when Mama Odie specifically said that, frogs, that both frogs would be turned human once again. Tiana hops off sadly and Ray flies through the city looking for her. Once he does, he tries to comfort her, but Tiana angrily bursts out that Evangeline isn't real and is just a star. Ray tearily tells Evangeline to not listen to Tiana and that she's only speaking out of a broken heart before flying off to put things right. As Lawrence prepares to wed Charlotte, Facilier chuckles preparing to kill Big Daddy through the use of a voodoo doll. Ray finds Naveen locked inside a small chest right next to Lawrence and quickly sets him free. Naveen launches himself at the former assistant and the two go tumbling off the float. Lawrence runs off off to dispose of the frog but the prince takes the talisman off his neck and throws it to ray who flies away with it the shadows and facilier run after the firefly and to help him louis stops playing and growls alerting the other musicians that he is an actual alligator as the crowd screams and parts louis runs off to help his friends ray meanwhile zooms towards tiana and quickly explains the nature of the talisman claiming it proves that they saw was what they saw wasn't the truth tiana hops off with the with the object while Ray stays behind to destroy as many shadows as possible. 
With his light, he kills a few of them, but Vasilye soon arrived and knocks the firefly to the ground before disgustingly stepping on him. A few seconds later, Louis comes running, calling for Ray, but finds the firefly lying on the ground and makes off for Tiana. The shadows of Vasilia continue chasing Tiana, but when she threatens to break the talisman into a million pieces, the shadow man casts an enchantment on her, causing her to look human again, and changes the setting to her dream restaurant. She thinks she sees Naveen playing the ukulele in the corner of the room, but when the man turns around, she sees it isn't and is disappointed. Vasilia, meanwhile, tries to convince Tiana to hand over the artifact, promising the restaurant and becoming a human again. When she refuses to, he brings up the memories of her sacrifices and people doubting her abilities, and finally her father working hard but failing to get enough money for a restaurant. Vasilia tells Tiana she could get everything that her father ever wanted, but she determinedly tells the witch doctor that although her father never got what he wanted, he had, old, he had what he needed. She throws a talisman to the ground, but it's snatched by Facilier's shadow, and the illusion immediately disappears. Facilier cackles and tells her that she should have taken his deal, but using her tongue, Tiana takes the talisman back and shatters it on the ground. The shadow man is horrified and frets how he won't be able to pay back his debt. Totem heads come out of the stone heads, asking if he's ready, which he replies that he isn't. Voodoo dolls climb out of the ground, and in terror, he says that he has lots more plans, revealing that he has the prince locked away to Tiana's surprise. An enormous totem head sucks in Facilier's shadow and the hysterical witch doctor himself to sacrifice his soul in exchange for the unpaid debts. Then the totem heads and voodoo dolls disappear, and a gravestone with the shadow man's face on it appears. Charlotte angrily knocks on the door of the building which Lawrence is, is in, demanding that he open up. Finally, she breaks in, but instead of being the handsome Prince Naveen, who she expects, fat old Lawrence is the one who greets her. Horrified, she screams, and so does he, running past her into the night. The real prince, still in the form of a frog, calls her name, and after being squashed with a book, tells her who he is. Tiana arrives just in time to see Lawrence being hauled into the back of a police car. She then she sees Charlotte and Naveen sitting on the steps, the latter explaining his and Tiana's predicament. Charlotte expects marriage, to which Naveen reluctantly agrees, but puts emphasis on money being given to Tiana for her restaurant, saying that she is his Evangeline. As they are about to kiss, Tiana stops Naveen, but he tells her that it is the only way to get her dream. But she quietly replies that her dream wouldn't be complete without him in it. Charlotte, seeing their love, agrees to kiss Naveen without him having to marry her, but as she plants a kiss on him, the bell sounds, signaling midnight has passed. With seemingly no hope of becoming human again, the frogs smile sadly, but are content with being together, whether in frog or human form. Louis comes running, bringing Ray with him, and they stay with him through his last moments. Back at the bayou, his funeral ceremony is carried out with the firefly lifted by his relatives in a leaf and sent floating on the river. As he disappears into the distance, a new star appears right next to the evening star. Naveen and Tiana get married by Mama Odie, and as they kiss, they both transform into humans. Surprised, they realize that by getting married, Tiana has, was now a princess, and by Naveen kissing her, they were both changed back. They then get formally married as humans to the delight of Eudora and Naveen's parents. As Tiana throws the bouquet, it's caught by Charlotte. At Finner Bros Realty, Tiana pushes over tins of her hard-earned money, and the brothers are encouraged by a growl from Louis to hand over the key to the restaurant. Tiana and Naveen then get to work and begin and be, begin to redecorate and clean up the property while until it is beautifully furnished and Louis is shown to be playing the trumpet with a band on the stage. The restaurant is full and Charlotte, Big Daddy LaBeouf, Naveen's parents, and Eudora are all seated. Charlotte then dances with Naveen's younger brother, who is only six and a half, but Charlotte says that she's waited this long. Tiana and Naveen then dance and kiss on the roof of the restaurant. Alright guys, next we're going to be looking at the article for the Splash Mountain Change. This has been directly taken from um, the Walt Disney news site that is made public to everybody. So everything that is on there is being read to you guys. This is not new information. And links that have been posted in the article will be in the description below if you would like further details. Breaking. Walt Disney World and Disneyland retheming Splash Mountain to Princess and the Frog. Disney Parks has just announced a retheming of Splash Mountain to Princess and the Frog in the wake of numerous petitions to change the attraction. According to the OC Register, 
The popular log flume ride, previously themed to the controversial Song of the South film, will be transformed to feature characters and a storyline based off of the 2009 animated film Princess and the Frog. No date or official theme has been announced for the attraction makeovers, but the working title for the project is New Adventures with Princess Tiana. Both Disneyland and the Walt Disney World intend to intended on reopening with the current in- iterations of the ride to be closed at a later date for the retheming. Despite the coincidental timing of the trending petitions to reskin the ride, Disney states that development on the backstory reportedly began last year, setting on concepts just as last summer. The next step for Imagineering will be to conduct digital scans of ride layouts at both parks. Tony Baxter will be serving as a creative advisor on the planning and designing of the makeover. Disney Parks Blogs has also released some backstory on the new theming, as well as insight from the talented cast of Princess and the Frog and Imagineers like Charita Carter, who are leading the project. Today, we are thrilled to share a first glimpse of a project Imagineers have been working on since last year. Splash Mountain at both Disneyland Park in California and Magic Kingdom Park in Florida will soon be completely reimagined. The theme is inspired by an all-time favorite animated Disney film, The Princess and the Frog. We picked up this story after the final kiss and joined Princess Tiana and Louie on a musical adventure featuring some of the powerful music from the film as they prepare for their first ever Mardi Gras performance. Tiana is a modern, courageous, and empowered woman who pursues her dreams and never loses sight of what's really important. It's a great story with a strong lead character set against the backdrop of New Orleans and the Louisiana Bayou. In 1966, Walt himself opened New Orleans Square when it became the first new land added to Disneyland Park, so it feels natural to link the story and the incredible music of the Princess and the Frog to our parks. The voice of Princess Tiana and Tony Award-winning actress Anika Noni Rose shared, It is really exciting to know that Princess Tiana's presence in both Disneyland and Magic Kingdom will finally be fully realized. As passionate as I am about what we created, I know the fans are going to be over the moon. The Imagineers are giving us the Princess and the Frog Mardi Gras celebration we've been waiting for, and I'm here for it. We continually evaluate opportunities to enhance and evaluate experiences for our guests. It's important that our guests be able to see themselves in the experiences we create. Because we consider ourselves constant learners, we go to great lengths to research and engage cultural advisors and other experts to help guide us along the way. I am incredibly proud to see this work continue to move forward with the great support from our leadership across Disney. Carmen Smith, Creative Development and Inclusive Strategies Executive, Walt Disney Imagineering. Like Princess Tiana, I believe that courage and love are the key ingredients for wonderful adventures. I am delighted to be part of bringing this fun-filled experience to our guests. Charita Carter, Senior Creative Producer, Walt Disney Imagineering. It is really exciting to know that Princess Tiana's presence in both Disneyland and Magic Kingdom will finally be realized. As passionate as I am about what we created, I know the fans are going to be over the moon. The Imagineers are giving us the Princess and the Frog Mardi Gras celebration we've been waiting for, and I am here for it. Anika Noni Rose from the voice of Princess Tiana, Tony Award-winning actress. Voicing Mama Odie was a joyful creative experience. Recording Mama Odie's song, Dig a Little Deeper, by Randy Newman, must have taken a hundred takes, because I wanted it to be perfect. The image of Mama Odie in the fairy godmother role truly reflected the New Orleans Black Bayou tradition of the revered wise woman. I am thrilled that the Princess and the Frog is being honored for the joy it has brought to millions of Disney fans. Jennifer Lewis, voice of Mama Odie. I think this is great news, or as Louie would say, hallelujah. Michael Leon Woolley, voice of Louie. The approach to re-theming or plussing attractions, as Walt Disney referred to it, begins with Imagineers asking the question, how can we rebuild, how can we build upon or elevate the experience and tell a fresh relevant story it's a continuous process that imagineers are deeply passionate about and with this long-standing history of updating attractions and adding new magic the retheming of splash mountain is of particular importance today the new concept is inclusive one that all of our guests can connect with and be inspired by and speak and it speaks to the diversity of the millions of people who visit our parts each year Sharita Carter, the senior creative producer leading the project of Walt Disney Imagineering, shared, 
Like Princess Tiana, I believe that courage and love are the key ingredients for wonderful adventures. I am delighted to be a part of bringing this fun-filled experience to our guests. So what do you think of this new concept of Splash Mountain? While fans of the classic attraction will bemoan the loss of their laugh in place, many beleaguered Princess and the Frog fans are eager to hold on head on down the bayou. So like I said guys, I bear no I bear no ill will towards Disney for changing Splash Mountain. Just like we grow up with Disney, Disney does grow up with us as well and the changing times. I will be sad to see Splash Mountain go, but at the same time, like I've said, I'm excited to see what they do with this, especially because it is a continuation um, after the movie. So this is the last thing I'm going to be saying on it. I just wanted to put my two cents out there without, you know, pretty much like being rude about it, if that makes any sense. Like, I wanted to share both sides of the story with like you know without tarnishing one side or tarnishing the other so i really hope you guys learned from this two-part uh videos about how you know song of south is splash mountain the rechange and princess and the frog so i thank you guys so much for being with me on this journey uh, re uh about evaluating the splash mountain change i really would like to know your guys's opinion on it as well if you guys have anything to say about it so uh, let me know in the comments what you think or, you know, leave a comment on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you'd like. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.